Hello? Hello. Would you like to talk with us about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, I used the tissue box to do the knocking sound because that's all I had around me. Anyhow. This is part two of my commentary or reaction to the interview between Michael Knowles and the ex-psychic Jen Niza. I'm gonna say it's Niza. Sorry if I'm wrong, but uh, I thought about nitpicking some of the things that they say, like how spirit guides, in their opinion or their perception, are evil and that they're demons and that, you know, mediums don't actually help people you can't tell me that mediums are evil when you have mediums out there that are locating missing people dead and alive bringing closure to families healing other people using energy healing using reiki yes it does work but it doesn't work in the way you think it does you know if you have illnesses caused from natural causes, right? Reiki might not help you because it's more focused on energy. But if you have ailments caused by energy or negative energy, that's where it will help you more so than, you know, an antibiotic. <laughs> you have mediums that help people with hauntings and attachments. You have mediums that help with exorcisms. Don't tell me that there aren't mediums doing good things out there because that's a load of bull crap. Bull la 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 Jen Nizza, when going through the journey of mediumship and spirituality, while I'm sure she did some research on some of the subjects, she didn't learn enough, especially on the paranormal and metaphysical spectrums. However, I cannot fault her for that because everyone goes through their journey in their own unique way. In my opinion, I think part of the reason why psychics and mediums get to certain levels in their fields has to do with what they are able to comprehend, their curiosity, and their willingness to grow or seek out additional information. Based on multiple variables such as personal experiences, education, and external environments, mold and shape our minds to enable our ability to absorb as much information as possible. The more we learn, the more our minds expand, giving us more opportunities to learn and continue the cycle of learning. Once we learn certain possibilities, our minds become more curious and try to test the limits of what we already know. So for me, because I had experienced certain psychic mediumship paranormal and metaphysical phenomena, I wanted to test my limits while continuing to push further. And so a lot of that comes in the form of entity realm and energy identification and understanding. And the more I was able to understand, the more experiences I was able to have and will continue to have because I don't have certain restrictions imposed on myself through a lack of understanding or, you know, not being curious enough or not having any drive to grow and I don't have fear stopping me. It's why many mediums aren't going to see things such as elementals and thought forms. Many have the mindset, if I don't experience it, it mustn't be real, which puts them in a box and they most likely will never see or experience those things as a result. Fear has the same result because the person isn't allowing themselves the opportunity to grow and blocks future experiences and education. 
since fear is low vibrational in general. Specifically, in her case, it attracted negative entities, which pushed her into the mindset that demonizes everything she doesn't understand. Many negative entities use Christianity as a tool to spread more fear and hatred to keep humanity in that low vibration. And what do I mean by that? Here's my Christianity disclaimer. I'm not saying Christianity is bad or evil by any means. I think it has helped many people when used correctly. When you don't allow yourself to learn, you start to become very limited in what you understand. And a lot of times in this field, you get mediums who have a certain expectation versus reality. They think, oh, I'm only going to do good things and only good experiences are gonna happen. And then if you combine that with the lack of understanding and the lack of education or the need or want or curiosity to continue growing in education, then you come in contact or you are confronted with something scary AF and then bam, now you're traumatized because you didn't expect it, one, and two, because you didn't have that full understanding of what existed now you have something super scary and you don't understand it and now you don't know what to do and it kind of throws you in a tizzy and her you know example she goes to Christianity which there's nothing wrong with you know a lot of people seek religion to heal and you know to find purpose and whatnot so you know I'm not dragging that but that's the thing like if you don't strive to want to know or learn things about spirituality and everything that exists in that realm like the paranormal when something happens you're gonna be very shocked and it's up to you with how you deal with it it'll either make you or break you but it doesn't have to break you it doesn't you just knowledge is power and I say this a lot. Part of the reason I'm not afraid anymore is because of all the research that I've done. All of the experiences I've had, even the bad ones, I didn't allow them to break me. I took every shitty experience and turned it into a lesson. Part of the reason why I keep a journal on my phone. Because there's something that can be learned from every single experience, even the bad ones. And she didn't take that opportunity to learn from that experience. If I see a demon and it's touching me, right? Yeah, it's scary as F in the moment. But in my brain, I'm thinking, why is it here? How did it come here? What does it want with me? Is this normal? Is this something that other people, you know, experience? And my mind will just keep spiraling and spiraling and spiraling with questions that I want the answers to. So her fear blocked that for her. And it's like, again, every experience, even the crappy ones. And two, that also promotes healing in a way as well. Because it's like, it'll give you a better a better understanding as to why it happened in the first place. And perhaps you'll be able to come to terms with the reasoning. So like, for me, with my demonic haunting, I learned that, you know, through several experiences, through several variables, it's kind of like things that stacked on top of one another that added up to that situation. I was in a crappy relationship, had some traumatic things happen to me, wasn't in the best place mentally. It's like I went to a haunted house, but the house I went to that was haunted was infested with demons because 
the owner there, along with some of the tourists and some of her friends. They did many Ouija board sessions. This lady collected Ouija boards and used pretty much all of them. Not to mention dark magic practices and rituals that were done there. And you fuse that all together. But also I did see the demon. So I mean, I saw the demonic entity. That thing was like over seven feet tall. It was creepy AF. But yeah, so there were multiple demonic entities in that space. I was a medium, didn't know it and didn't know how to protect myself, so I was wide open. You put all that stuff together, and what do you get? A demonic haunting. Okay, so our bodies have that tendency of fight or flight, remember? Her flight response kicked in instead of her fight. And, you know, that just... People are different. Not everyone's the same. Some people, depending on their experiences, how they were brought up, are going to react differently. My dad taught me how to fight, and he taught me in certain situations where, you know, there are times that I might have to kick in that flight response. But through his teachings, I actually learned a lot, and it made me tougher. And again, it, it is what it is doesn't make a person any less weak or strong. That's just how they're mind and body reacted. It takes a special kind of person to do this kind of work. You gotta be smart in the battles you choose to fight versus not fight. With her knowledge and her skill set, I fully believe she chose the correct decision. She wasn't equipped to be able to fight those certain battles and for her, it would be like dealing with negative entities. So, you know, she ran to Christianity. You know what? For her, that was the right choice. Because I'm pretty sure she would have lost. And that's not being mean or disrespectful. That's just me being real because she let fear win. You can't let fear win when dealing with negative entities. You cannot, especially when they feed on that and use that stuff against you in order to continue the feeding cycle and or whatever motives they have. Some of them are to possess you and create a lot of harm because again, some of them, their purpose is to create as much negative energy as possible. So crimes, murders, atrocities, and aliving, that produces and yields the most negative energy. Well, everybody, I'm going to end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope to see you soon. Hope everyone has a great holiday, Christmas, whatever you celebrate. Happy Yule, because I'm filming this on the 21st. Happy winter solstice. Happy everything. And hopefully the stress of Christmas is finally over. But again, thank you guys so much for watching and peace out.